routine for you, uh, but just a heads up, next week is the last Wednesday of the month, which means that is when we have our post-show jam, which is a chance for anyone to get up here on stage after the show and do uh, all sorts of improv. Just no training, whatever. Just You just get up and you get to fucking do shit. Yeah. It's, uh, so come back next week if you want to do that, because, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people say to me, like, I'm funnier than you, and I always say, prove it. <laughs> and it turns out they are at that and post show. It, it, it turns out that they always are funnier than me. It's they, not that hard. I am the best Virgo has to offer. <laughs> together for Knievel. Let's do a slow clap first. If you say haters, I couldn't hear. Biting nails! Thank you! Next. Oh, hey, Marissa. Hi. Put your nail beds down. Okay. I'm looking for something spicy today. Oh, okay. Well, we've got a uh, fire engine red, as you know. Okay, I want something even more. Something that says, like, you know... I'm leaving my husband. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I gotta get the special polishes out. Okay. Gotta get the revenge polishes out. Okay, great, Gina. Yeah. Today's the day. Today, oh, today's the day. Today's the day. So you already yeah. left that. Well, I haven't done it yet. Okay, well, I mean, this is what you need for your confidence. <laughs> exactly. All right, so I can do nail art. I don't know if I ever told you that. I would love that. But I can do like little sexual positions of the yeah. stuff he never gave you. Oh, oh yeah. that would be great. <laughs> yeah, my last client, I just did a whole anal storyline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because uh, actually, we were heavily into anal, oh, so that won't work. Okay, okay. What else do you have? Well, I mean, I can do whatever. I mean, you tell me what's wrong with your marriage, and I'll put it down on your nails. Okay. Um, well, what kind of cuddlingus positions can you do? Um, <laughs> okay, so I've got on the knees, obviously. I've got over, under, and between. Um, I've got hanging from a curtain rod. Um, I've got, um, I'm washing dishes, but you make it work. Yeah. Um, I've got the dog is watching. Um, I've got the kids are locked outside. We only have five minutes. Um, and then I've got, we have Survivor on in the background because it's comforting. I'll take that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to need to get the green out. Okay, great. Okay. So yeah, so so, so I'm tell me. I'm leaving him. Yeah, but yeah. what did he do? I mean, he's just not a good lover. Um, actually, he's very good in bed. Oh, okay. So that's not an issue. Uh huh. It's his mannerisms, right? You know what I mean? Well, no, you tell me. <laughs> I didn't know that my dream 
was ruining our marriage. Well, it is. <laughs> All right, welcome to Borat acting class. <laughs> They give diplomas here at Borat Acting School? They do. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, man. There you go. My ex is going to roll in her... Well, she's not dead, so I guess just bed. But how can you say bed in a more obnoxious... Roll in her bed! Yeah! 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 Okay. Yes! Can you sit down, please? Sure. I am... Um, uh, when you came to me as a investor... And you said, I've got a great idea for an acting school. Huh? And I said, here's some money. Yes. I realize now I should have asked, what was that idea? Right. <laughs> I wouldn't have told you. <laughs> I had to get that money because I knew no one's going to go for this plan. But you know, Yes, I mean, you've had one student over the last six years. <laughs> yes. And you gave him a diploma on the first day. <laughs> well, he's really good. I mean, he just, he got it. He got it. Let me tell you something. I'm a straight-laced business man. Oh, you can say that differently. Say it like Borat. Well, this is what I wanted to, I was going to say, like, I, I'm going to pull all my money out, but maybe, maybe this could work. So teach me how to be like Borat. All right, so you just, random words. No, oh, Charles, welcome to the club. Good to see you again, yes. fellow rich friend. <laughs> <laughs> Last night I was having dinner with my wife. <laughs> What is that? Oh, that is the funniest thing I've yeah, ever I seen. I'm laughing. I'm just another club guy. Yeah. Oh, this no. guy's funny. Charles here was just talking about. What? Well, how did you say that, friend? I said last night I had dinner with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> having dinner with my wife. <laughs> wow, it really works. Wow. <laughs> Paper or plastic? Um, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's the point? And like, anymore. plastic is easier for me, miss. It's just less hassle. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just hassling everybody. I'm just... On everybody's bad side, you know. All right, uh, single or divorced? I mean, who, who, who really gets right whatever you want? Well, I need to know that this is, a, this is an IRS form. It's, you know, it like, doesn't fucking matter. You know what I mean? It's like, are any of us really divorced? I understand, but we still you know. need to fill this out. For... Uh, do you want to go down the tube water slide or the mat water slide? Let me open something. <laughs> All right, so uh, just go into this voting booth and you're just going to vote for either Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, I know exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, Chuck, if they don't get it for me, it's like my parents don't even love me, you know? I mean, I graduated high school. You know how hard that was for me? Yeah, it was really hard for you because, like, you don't like math. Yeah, I don't like math, or English, or history, or science. Jim was pretty cool. You yeah. love Jim. But so, so like I said, you know, like mom, dad, I totally need a PlayStation 5 to yeah. take to my dorm room. Well, and they obviously, said, I mean, we're still playing Atari 2600 here. <laughs> <laughs> and this sucks. <laughs> yeah, I know, the response time is really Slow. You know what sucks? <laughs> Having a 27-year-old kid living in my basement, <laughs> wanting oh, to move shit. into a dorm, <laughs> and not having anything in life to look forward to. Shit, you monster. Look, hey, I didn't mean to tell you this. I actually got into Princeton. I'm going to be leaving next week. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, this sucks. See you later. Hey, bye, Mrs. Q. Love the mac and cheese. Thank you. Love, love you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
One plastic bag floats in the sky. <laughs> a bird flying. <laughs> a squirrel stopping, looking around nervously, smelling the air. A single blade of grass growing out of the brick. Boing. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> all right, come on in, sir. Um, all right, so as you can see, this is a 1920s bungalow. Um, we're right near downtown. As There's a blade of grass here. Oh, I'm, oh, wow. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. But you know, I Those are a paper bag. Well, I'm sorry. This is an up and coming neighborhood, like is that I said. a bird over there? <laughs> sorry, it is an up and coming neighborhood. Um, like a very trendy, very hip. So, um, yeah, it's very, it's very, this is exactly what I was looking for. Hardwood floors. Hardwood floors. 200 um, square feet. Brown molding. <laughs> yes, 200 square feet. No bathroom, no bath, no kitchen. No, but there is a water hookup, which means it can be anything you want it. This to is going to be perfect for my, my, uh, my uh, son going to college. Oh, good, good, yes. Well, I would right near the college. He could walk to classes. Ooh, how close to the college? Um, we're about um, 800 feet. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty close. <laughs> Trina, what do you mean you got off that studio down on 4th? You, you got it You got off? You got it off your hands. I got it off my hands. I sure did. I didn't mean you got off like that. <laughs> Two little Trina, I heard you got off at the studio down the street. <laughs> Trina, you know, this is, a, this is a respectful business. You can't be getting off. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to your studio. Here are your court papers. Thank you. What do you think? Well, you signed all the pages and you dotted all the I's and you initialed where you knew to initial. That's right. Okay. So do you think I'll get the investment? Well, <laughs> just give it to me straight. I mean, as I always tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for coming to the Chuckle Hut tonight. Well, as you know, we have a very famous local comedian here tonight. Uh, we just call him the businessman. So, everybody, bring your My wife! <laughs> That's been my time. <laughs> wow, Chet. Yeah. Your parents bought you a totally gnarly board. That's great. I'm one thing I know, it's surfing. <laughs> <laughs> Catching some gnarly, sick, nasty. Hey, Chet. Guess what? I just was at your house and you got into Harvard. Wow! Whoa. Shit, everything's going great for you, man! Your mom wow. said get home ASAP! Cowabunga, dude! Oh my god, I'm gonna do everything, but first I'm gonna just catch one wave. Okay, paddle up! <laughs> and that was, that was the day Chet went out for his last wave. <laughs> you see, what Chet didn't know was there was a storm. <laughs> and a shark, <laughs> and a squid, <laughs> and a sniper on top of a roof nearby. <laughs> where, where, where are you? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, 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 oh. I made it out! <laughs> Finally, I made it out! I'm all set to go to Harvard! Mom, I'm crying for you! No, Chad, this is heaven. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I am St. Peter. I was expecting you, and fortunately, just like Harvard, your name's on the list. <laughs> Everything's coming up good for you today, Chet, huh? I don't think so, Pete. Well, trust me, you don't want to go to the other place. I mean, 
Our waves are totally bonanza. I mean, it's just bazinka babes on the beach. Yeah, totally, St. Peter. St. Peter, uh, can I continue over? Yes. Uh, we made a mistake. It turns out Chet, uh, he's going to do it. Ooh, okay. Uh, I got you this. Can you bring it to him? Yeah, did the same thing with Elvis. Great. By the way, I'll come over for dinner later tonight. My wife! <laughs> Yeah, right on through. Uh-huh. Thanks, Mary Anderson. <laughs> wow. All right, so Chet, I, I've got some interesting news. It's kind of a good news, bad news scenario. Sure. Um, Lay it on me, say. What are the no- what's what's the coolest word you can think of? Totally hot, right? You love totally hot things. Love totally hot. You're always like, oh, totally hot. That's hot. Do I? Yeah, I, I think we had you on recording saying that. Uh, bad news is you're going to the other place. The other place? Yeah. But I mean, you can take your surfboard with you. It's totally okay. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> well, it's already gone there, Chad. I'm sorry, but you can't get into heaven. You're going to the other place. Say it. Why are you say it? You're such a pussy little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Community theater. Come out on the stage. Yes. Tonight is opening. Opening night, and of course, you know, we are doing the revival of Chet's Descent to Hell. Yes. <laughs> it is a off, 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 off Broadway play that has been set to rave review. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Notice I said one for you. You only need one good review. It's it, what, it's it, the was, the mom. <laughs> it was the mom. It was the mom that reviewed it. So I think we all know what we're playing, right? We know that we're going to be playing Chet. We're going to be playing uh, the sniper shark squid. We're going to be playing the devil. Uh, And I want to see, oh my god. I just got word. The audience is in the crowd. There is. The audience is in the crowd? The audience is in the crowd? (laughs) They are, oh, there is so much audience. They're in the crowd. They're sitting on just left. We have a theater of 40 packed to it with 150 people. We have to go places, 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 and the curtain's up. Bye.